Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. I purchased mine from Ulta. It ran about $40. Stay tuned to see how I achieved this look right here with this little gem and what my feelings are on this. Sorry if you can hear some noise in the background. Jeffrey's actually cutting the grass right now. First off, we're gonna start by clipping our bangs off, if you have them. I do, so I definitely like to have them out of the way when I'm putting anything on my face. And nothing works better than these butterfly clips, I think they're called. So I'm gonna start off with my skincare. The first thing that I did was I put on some toner this morning. I'm gonna go in with this Origin Zero Oil. This is one of my favorite products right now. Definitely in love with it. Just take a little dab like that. and rub it all over my face and a little bit on my neck. That way my makeup stays throughout the day without being unmoisturized and oily. I'm gonna go in with the serum. This is actually just a sample from Origins. It just says the original skin serum. And it just kinda looks like this. It smells really, really good too. So I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit, maybe the size of like a P, if that. And I'm just gonna rub that on the lower part of my face, just a little bit on the top. I'm gonna go in with the Skin Ice Lens. This is the solution for stress skin line. And this is the Pure Pore Minimizer. It's silicone free. I just love it because it keeps any kind of oils from coming out of my face. It also minimizes my pores. I'm using this much, and I just kind of apply it everywhere especially my T-Zone. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna go in with one of my holy grails. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, and I know probably y'all are asking why I cut the top off, because I could not get any more out of the pump and there was definitely a lot still left in here. So I'm not gonna waste that. Shoot, this stuff is not cheap and it works amazingly. So I'm gonna get every last bit out of it that I can gonna go in with about that much and rub that all over my face. It feels so moisturizing. And rub that a little bit on my neck. Now we're gonna go in with our Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. I got this in the shade 4.5. It's actually what they picked out for me at Ulta and it looked true to my skin tone so I'm hoping this works, so let's open it up. I'm really a big sucker for the packaging. I love it. It's silver and dark gray. I think it's beautiful, at least from the outside packaging. And then it says full coverage long wear, matte finish, waterproof, and oil free. I have not used a full coverage foundation in quite a while, so this will be interesting to see. What I've been using is the Urban Decay One and Done. So that's kind of why I wanted to try one of their other foundations, because I really like the Urban Decay brand. I've got the Vice palette, I think the Vice 3. Ooh, so when you open it up, it's kind of like purple on the inside. Looks like it may be flowers on the inside, I'm not quite sure. Pop this baby out. Really liking the packaging. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's such a cool design too. Like I absolutely love it, it's just cute. Oh, it says to shake before use. That's interesting. I guess like that. I don't know, how do you really shape foundation? I mean, I'm not used to that. All right, so what the lady at the store was telling me, oh, it's a pump too, that's awesome, I love pumps. She was telling me that one pump of this would cover your whole face, so. I don't normally like to put the little dots all over my face and blend it in, because I don't work that fast. I like kind of taking my time with the product, so I'm gonna do one pump on my hand and we'll see how this works. Okay, so it takes a couple pumps. I guess the first time always takes a couple pumps. I hear something. Okay, that was like one pump, but that's like that much. Let's try one more. Um, okay, I'll try this and then we'll see how it does. So for right now, it looks a little light to my skin tone, but we'll see.
By the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and it's just a little damp, so. Okay, so I really don't like putting it on the hand and then doing it. Cause I don't feel like that's working really well. But she is right that like pump gave me pretty much everything I needed. I mean, I still want it to be a little bit darker. So this is it so far. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I've noticed at least with the one and done that it kind of oxidizes on your skin. So I may give it a second and then apply more if I feel it's needed. Okay, so I left it on for a minute. I do feel like it has oxidized a little bit. The shade is pretty good. I would like it to be a little bit darker just cause I do tan and do self tan. So sometimes I feel like it is gonna be a little bit too light. That's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I did redampen my beauty blender to see if that helps just because I'm normally by the sink when I'm applying it. And then I'm just gonna apply it how I normally do. So I'll just put like the pump on the sponge. I definitely like the coverage. I've got two little inside pimples on my chin and I feel like it's covering that up really well without me having to use the pointy side of the sponge. I feel like a little bit goes a long way with this product which is nice. I definitely feel like it covers up my nose pretty well and conceals everything pretty well. It feels pretty matte all over my face. I feel like it's drying really good. It doesn't feel oily or cakey. It feels really, really smooth. And I don't really feel like I have anything on my face right now. Like I said, this may not be the shade for me. It may be a little too light. I don't know, it's coming pretty true to camera from what I can see back here. I'm gonna leave it on and see how it feels throughout the day. The good thing is like, I don't even feel like with this, I would have to set it with a powder because it just feels so matte. I honestly think that this foundation is awesome so far. I mean, it looks really good so far and I haven't even done anything else. I feel like I could just go out with just this and be fine. But what I'm gonna do now is just get the rest of my makeup on and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, so here's the finished look. I think that the color actually turned out really well against my skin. I'm definitely loving this foundation so far and I really can't even tell I have anything on. If y'all like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you've tried this product or other Urban Decay products that you love and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Also subscribe if you haven't and let me know what y'all, ugh. Where'd you go? What?